wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man istanna bi sunnati la yawm ad-din all praise due to allah and may allah's peace and blessings be on his last prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and on all those who follow the path of righteousness until the last day as the brother said the next series of lectures that i'll be giving will be under the general heading of the best of islam and what is meant here is the various traditions of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in which he had stated that the best of charity or the best money or the best of hajj or the best people you know the best of martyrs he, he has made a number of statements like this where he has described the best of some aspect of islam what i have done is i've gathered these together uh, or some of them and i will be presenting them and discussing the implications of these traditions of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh as you may recall from what we have said in the past concerning uh, the hadith or the sunnah or the traditions of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we mentioned that it is something which cannot be separated from the quran the sunnah or what prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had to say and what he did has to be taken along with the quran if we separate it from the quran then we put ourselves in a position where we are unable to properly understand the quran so the sunna or the main function of the sunna was to clarify for us the intended meaning of the quran to make give us the details of the general uh instructions which Allah gave in the Quran. We know just as a quick example, Allah tells us in the Quran in many places to make salah, to protect our salah, to pray at the prescribed time. But the Quran does not define how do we pray? When to raise our hands, what to say in the prayer etc. This is not defined in the Quran. This comes from the Sunnah. and that is the case of most of the various uh, principles of islam there are a few exceptions where allah has given details like in the case of the uh, inheritance he has given us a lot of the details but in most of the various commandments of islam allah has put them in general terms in the quran and it has been left up to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to give us the details so as i said the primary function of the sunnah was to clarify the intended meanings of the quran and to give us practical demonstration of how to implement the commandments of the quran what we will be looking at here is not really the legal commandments which have to do with uh when to pray the commandment of when to give zakah etc what we will be looking at in this next series are the instructions or the guidance which prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave us concerning the various principles with everything there is a bare minimum we could say like the five times daily prayer this is the bare minimum if one doesn't do this then one leaves islam but that does not at the same time eliminate going beyond that there is no maximum in terms of how much we may pray we have a minimum but there are many many degrees that we can travel on with regards to prayer and the the higher we we go in degrees with regards to prayer the closer we come to god and there are certain times of prayer outside of the compulsory prayer recommended times of prayer which are better than other times so what we have here in this next series of 
of hadith that we'll be looking at are the various uh, advices which the Prophet Muhammad gave us concerning the best of the various levels of the various deeds which we have been commanded to do. Now, the first hadith which we'll be looking at is one which concerns business, uh, trade or commerce. And in it, or under this heading, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu had said, the best earnings are from a blessed sale and the product of a man's own hand. The best earnings are from a blessed sale and the product of a man's own hand. This hadith was reported by Abu Burda ibn Nayyar and collected by Ahmed and at Sabarani in his book called Al-Kabir al Jami' Al-Kabir Now this statement of the Prophet Muhammad was a response to a question asked by Abu Burda the companion Abu Burda had asked him what was the best means of earning a living? See the companions were very concerned about finding out with regards to the religion, what was the best way to do this or to do that or to do that. So whenever an opportunity arose, they would ask the Prophet ﷺ for guidance in this matter. Now the Prophet ﷺ defined for him as the means of earning one's living that the best is from a blessed sale. A blessed sale meaning one that is free from deception or cheating and that the goods and means of exchange are halal. Such a transaction would have the blessings of Allah on it and one would be rewarded for it. Sometimes you might think that uh, we only get rewards for particular good deeds that we do which have been specifically defined by Allah as acts of worship. But Islam is comprehensive. It covers all aspects of life. So when a person deals in business, has a business transaction in which he is truthful to God, he is aware of God, and he does it according to the principles of Islam, then this becomes a righteous act on his part and he is rewarded for it. Now, the Prophet ﷺ stressed this idea of a righteous sale because it is very enticing for businessmen to cheat their customers. Any of us who has been involved in business knows that the temptation to take advantage of the ignorance of the customer is great. Those who take the most advantage make the most money. This is what we observe. If one just deals with uh, basic exchanges, giving people their rights and not, you know, seeking to deceive them in any way, then one will make a moderate living. This is the case in most, in most cases. However, if one wants to, you know, earn huge amounts of money, then one gets involved in various devious means, which and one way or another ends up in tricking the customer. And Islam, because of the fact that human society depends on business transactions, for us to be able to function as a society, we have business transaction 